Well, before I read the script, Andy uh, pitched, to, actually a year or two before the, we did it, Andy pitched the his idea for it. And I was struck by how, how like you say, how dark uh, the uh, premise was, because we had never gone that uh, quite that dark before, even though Monk's always been troubled and uh, depressed and lonely <laughs> for eight years. Um, but this took it to another level. But the way the way Andy pitched it and how he kind of framed it just just sold me on it, um, invoking the movie of, of It's a Wonderful Life, which is a heartwarming, beloved holiday story about a man who is yeah. wanting to off himself. Yeah. So, you know, and those two, and, and Andy said, you know, those two things can, Co can coexist and in this in, in it's a wonderful life you know that's a beautiful beautiful piece it's a work of art so that was uh that was kind of our our premise right uh my 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 motto in life is if frank capra can do it tony Shalhoub can do it <laughs> that's how <laughs> and we uh, and, uh, and andy's other motto is steal from the best steal from the best you might be you might be interested to know in that when i pitched the story to tony it was over lunch and Tony's wife was there and my wife was sitting there as well. So I was pitching not just to Tony, but to three, but to his wife and my wife. And that I will never do again. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a oh. cardinal mistake. That's a, that's a rookie mistake for a writer. <laughs> I really wanted for Monk fans, for a diehard fans, Monkaholic, to be happy to revisit their old friend. And I felt a great responsibility uh, towards them uh, when I was writing it. I guess the, the big challenge really was how do we, uh, you know, reintroduce these characters and these relationships in a familiar and recognizable way, but make it different enough and interesting enough to justify, you know, doing this movie you know how do we how do we make it the same yet different how do we make it true and honest but heightened and how do we take it to the next level that was always the that was always the the uh, challenge so so just on a on an acting level you know the idea was yes monk i have to go darker and commit to that and not be afraid of that but also be willing to go really goofy and <laughs> lighter on the comedic side and take those kinds of risks. So uh, the, writers, the writers took a risk. The actors were asked to do the same. Uh, we were given a lot of support and time, and most importantly, time, many shooting days to recreate it. And, and uh, we feel like we pulled it off. Well, I, I do. When you know, you, a writer can't turn that that part of his brain off. And I, I have been thinking about uh, where we might be able to go. I'm very excited about it, but I haven't told anyone about it. Uh, not Tony. He hasn't told me. And certainly not my wife after that pitch. <laughs> after you that should, pitch experience. Whatever you do, don't tell my. <laughs> don't, wife. Don't, I don't tell you. Um, so I, I, you know, I do know where I'd like to take it. Uh, we'll have to see how this, how it all plays out. So far, uh, people have been very enthusiastic and very positive, uh, and I hope that door is open uh, in the future. Boy, I don't know. That's a good question. We we put Monk, the writers, I should say, put Monk through the ringer so many, so many different ways, and, and to great. Uh, Fact, great result. If any of your readers or listeners uh, have any ideas, please yeah. forward them to us. Yeah. Lord knows we need them. The challenge with this character is that, you know, he's, in, as we find out at the end of this movie, you know, he's in, he gets to a more hopeful spot. But we, we don't want to get this character in too positive a mindset. You know, his strength is in his misery and his loneliness and his fear and his depression so we can't you know he can feel good but not for too long 